So we are in the Guangzhou market and we're here to get some street food. It smells really good. Um, there's already a lot of lines. This will be an exciting experience. So we got our classic hotek here. It's like a, it seems like a pancake, a fried pancake and it's has brown sugar and cinnamon. Let's try it. That's really good, it's very familiar taste. It tastes like fair food. I like how it's in a cup, so you don't have to get your hands dirty. Mmm. Mmm. It smells like a donut. It's like a mal malasada. <laughs> One side has all the cinnamon brown sugar. The other side's kind of doughy. I like the sweet part. So I may or may not be doubting my strength here in this market, so I'm gonna get a smoothie for now. <laughs> Cleanse my palate before I really get into some eating. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. 5,001. So I got some tteokbokki, which is Korean rice cake. It looks really chewy. Mm. The sauce is kind of sweet and spicy. Wow. This one's really good. Trey, you gotta try this one. You'll like it. Oh, these things are huge. <laughs> is it all, is it all a whole, a whole noodle? Yeah. Wow, okay. Mm. It's almost like biting into a piece of cheese. Yeah. But it's like not, it's not cheese, it's like a like a noodle, like a big noodle basically. <laughs> So that market was pretty great, but it kind of seems like a place where you just go find a stall and you eat dinner and order a bunch of dishes. We're looking for a little bit more variety tonight, so we're gonna head to the Myeongdong market. So we finally made it to Myeongdong. This place is known for two things, shopping and street food. I've been trying to get him to come here for days already. And we finally made yeah. it. Now it's time to go shopping. <laughs> I can see why Chloe's been wanting to come here so badly. This place is bussing. You got your juices, you got your meats, you got your rice cakes, you got real goods, you got fake goods. What else do you need? Check this out, we got this massive stick of meat. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I need some meat in my life. I just hope I don't get it on myself. Yeah, yeah. It's really messy, but. Mmm! Mm. Oh yeah, that looks good, I can tell. It's actually yeah. really good. Yeah. Oh yeah, you dripping. Oh, watch out, oh, there's so many drops oh, on the God. ground from us. <laughs> my mouth is too small, I got it all over. <laughs> Oh yeah, with the onion, perfect. I'm glad we got the one with the onion. Because all the other ones are straight meat, but that onion just adds that flavor in there. Ooh. Watch out for those drip drops. Last 16 
how it does things. Oh. Uh, made it oh my God. It's like a cocoon, a moss cocoon. Never had something like this before. It's really good and it's nutty. Kind of like a granola bar on the inside. I actually really like it. It's like earthy. It's very sticky. I like it. Do you want a box though? <laughs> The cool thing about this place is that you just basically walk through, you go to a stall, you know, get something to eat, maybe get a show, walk a few steps to the next stall, get something else to eat, get another show, it just keeps on going and going. You can spend hours in here uh, until your legs get tired, of course, and you'll have to go back. Or just go, or just go into a store and start shopping and maybe find a place to sit down in there. Oh, that one's extra sugary. Yeah. We have a candied fruit stick. And the reason we're here is for this. Mm. Mm. The sugar's a little thick on this one. <laughs> Be careful, it's kind of like glass. Oh yeah? Oh. Mm. It's sharp. You just have to be careful about your bites. Plan them accordingly. Mm -hmm. You can't go in willy-nilly with these things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Egg bread for 2K. Yeah. That's the deal of the day right there. We got three ingredients. Cheese, egg, and bread. It's nice and oily too. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. It's a little sweet too. Oh like really? It. Yeah. I think yeah, it's the bread. The bread is like a sweet bread. It's kind of like a cookie taste almost, the bread. Very good. Yeah, we've been seeing these everywhere, so I guess we passed this stall and we're like, okay, it's time to try one. Oh. That's a spiral, spiral cut potato yeah. with some seasoning and cheese on it. It's for an even fry all the way around, not just the outside. You get a 360, is it, it's more than 360 degrees. It's, it's thousands of degrees of, of <laughs> fried goodness. 1080 times six. 1080 times six. Oh, do I get the first bite? Yeah, you get the all first right. bite. Ooh. Mmm! Oh, wow. Well, that's seasoning, too. Wow. Well, that's okay. really good. Loki, I thought this was gonna be alright, but... This is way better than the one we got in this Hawaii. This is really good. This is yeah. the best one of these things I've had. Yeah. The frying is immaculate, and, and the seasoning they put on is really good. Oh, wow. Look how much you're eating. You can't stop. Uh, oh! <laughs> Man, I was telling Trey, no, let's not go there. Don't get the spiral potato, it's so played out. You have it in the fairs in Hawaii and yeah, everywhere, but, right, right. but this tastes different. Yeah, this one's way better, huh? I'll show you how to spiral bite. Yeah. Totally worth the 4,000. So that was a fun night exploring the street market, but it's time for us to go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. You know how many gross videos there's gonna be of me eating on the internet now? <laughs> spiral bite. Well, that's not a spiral bite, what is that? <laughs>